Well, in a little news that I definitely did not expect to have today, we have a new Black Christmas remake on the way. Apparently Blumhouse is bringing us the third version of this classic slasher this December. Friday the 13th, this December, we're gonna get a new version of Black Christmas. Now I have reviews for both of these versions of films, both the original and the 2006, I believe, remake. Huge fan of the original. Really classic slasher, very underappreciated for what it actually did for the slasher genre. Other movies actually get more credit for what this film kind of pioneered for. Um, but you have the 2006 remake, which while being creative, I do not enjoy it at all. <laughs> it, it's just a movie that goes way too out there for me. I'm not a big fan of it. What do I think about a third remake? Well, at first when I read this, I kind of was like, hmm, that could be cool. They cast Imogene Poots, who we've seen, God, what a name. We've seen her in 28 Weeks Later. We've seen her in the Fright Night remake. We've seen her in Green Room. I like this actress a lot. Like, as a lead, like, that's the aspect of this story that I latched onto and went, cool, I'm kind of on board with it because I get to see more of her in horror. So I like that. The release date being this year, being kind of a fast track film. I mean, like slashes don't take a whole lot of time to film, so I get it. It made me feel a little bit like it might be rushed, but you know, films have been made quicker that have ended up being awesome. So I was kind of in the middle with it, to be honest, until I read the plot synopsis. And this is where now I don't really care about <laughs> care about this remake, care about seeing it at all. And it seems like it's kind of doomed already. It could end up being awesome, but the plot synopsis basically is that it's again, it's in a college. There's a killer running around killing girls one by one, but, and it literally says this in like the press release synopsis, this generation of college girls aren't taking it and they're going to fight back against the killer. Which really makes me feel like this entire movie is made just for the, you know, 2019 social message Me Too thing. Now don't get me wrong. I'm not against that movement at all. I don't have any issues with female empowerment. My issue is that in slashers throughout history, especially in the 80s, those movies were already about female empowerment and they didn't have to lead the charge by telling you and beating you over the head with it. Think about the, just the concept of Final Girl. You have a killer like Jason, a killer like Michael, a killer like Freddy that pretty much always get taken out by a female, a strong female character. That right there is classic female empowerment. That's why that whole term final girl exists. And that's one of those tropes about 80s slashers and slashers throughout history that we love. The fact that they're like leading the charge with this by telling you that just feels like they're going about it the complete wrong way to me. And I could be wrong and it could end up being awesome. It could be a really nice twist on the original film, but just it kind of confused me about why you would tell us that. Like, well, no shit, there's a girl in it that's probably going to prevail over the killer at some point. That's female empowerment in and of itself. You don't have to tell me that. You don't have to market it like that. You don't have to pitch it to all of us fans like that. Aside from that, now again, they're not gonna give a ton of details because the movie hasn't shot yet, but just saying there's a killer loose in a college campus and that's why you're calling it Black Christmas, to me, that doesn't quite justify why you would call it Black Christmas, why you would make this a remake of Black Christmas instead of just some new slasher with female empowerment being your kind of your goal. I had the same argument with people that said the same thing about Child's Play, but my argument with that is that Child's Play, the remake from what they're showing us is still holding on to the spirit and the approach and the basic storyline of that original film, where this one just feels like it's in a college, so it's Black Christmas. I don't know how I feel about that. So not a whole lot else to discuss with this until we have a movie shot and a trailer to kind of go off of, but just that plot synopsis and the fact that it doesn't seem like they're really meriting a third remake of this film where, I'm sorry, between the, the original film and between that wild ass remake going completely opposite different directions, there's not a whole lot in the middle left to do with this concept. They're not really selling me on the fact that we need a third Black Christmas remake. So those are my thoughts, guys. What do you think? Are you a fan of the original? Are you a fan of the remake? Which one do you prefer? Do you think we actually need a remake to Black Christmas? Do you agree with me? Or do you actually think this is a good approach to have to a slasher movie kind of going full force with the female empowerment thing? Or does that kind of feel like, duh, why are you telling us that? That's what slashers are about. You don't have to market it that way. Anyway, 
What are your thoughts on this Black Christmas remake? Are you looking forward to it? Do you think Blumhouse is going to do a good job with it? Or do you think this is going to get swept under the rug with the dozens of others re of remakes that uh, we don't want to talk about anymore, including the 2006 remake? <laughs> Lindsay. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Like and share this video. Hit that subscribe button, please. If you want to check out some social media links down below, you got Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You have Spreadshirt and Teespring. Teespring actually is actually on my YouTube video right now. If you scroll down, you will see Teespring links, which is all of my merchandise, my Cody Leach t-shirts, there's pillows, there's socks, there's decal stickers, all kinds of really cool stuff. I just signed up with Teespring. I want to see if this is more user friendly for you guys. So let me know down below if you've used the Teespring function down below this little shelf that I have down here. And if you purchase any of my shirts, let me know. And send me like an Instagram post or something like that. It's always cool to see. So thank you guys so much. Check that out. Check out my Patreon page. A great way to give back to this channel and help this channel grow. Get cool exclusive content for your eyes only. And if you want to check out some more of my content, including my reviews for both previous Black Christmas films, you can check that out by clicking right over here.